Question number seven, Simon Watts. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister of Local Government, why did she not send the advice she received on 22nd November relating to entrenchment of the provisions of the Water Services Entities Bill to any other ministers? And does she stand by all her statements on entrenchments? Uh, the Honourable Nanaya Mahuta. Mr Speaker, as stated in my personal explanation in the House, the advice sought on SOP 285 in the name of Eugenie Sage was technical in nature and not passed on. To the second part of the question, I also stand by my comment that it was a mistake. It has been resolved through the introduction of SOP 310. There is no entrenchment clause in the Water Service Entities Act. Why did she not share that advice with the Minister of Justice? given she is required to consult on all constitutional arrangements with that minister under section 5.14d of the Cabinet Manual. Mr Speaker, as previously stated in other questions, that SOP was tabled by Eugenie Sage. The advice sought was technical in nature and not passed on. Will the minister table the advice? She received on entrenchment on 25 October and 22 November in the House right now. If not, why not? Mr Speaker, as previously said in uh, other responses to that member, a mistake has been acknowledged. It has been fixed. There is no constitutional crisis and there is no entrenchment clause in the Water Service Entities Act. How does she reconcile her statements? That entrenchment was, I quote, a mistake when she had received advice twice on it, including on the day of the debate and a month beforehand. And isn't it really the case? This was no mistake, but a deliberate and calculated action. No, I don't agree with the member. And if he chooses, and in a charitable spirit, if that member continues barking up the wrong tree and he wants, he wants to keep that dog whistle up, I suggest he choose a Christmas carol. Oh. <laughs> Supplementary. Did she. Oh, God. Um, the Honourable Dr. Megan Woods will stand, withdraw, and apologise. I withdraw and apologise. So what? Did she know, prior to the vote on Supplementary Order Paper 285, that the Labour Party members would vote in favour of SOP 285? Mr Speaker, the vote was placed on the day. It has been subsequently rectified because it, we've acknowledged a mistake was made. The matter has been dealt with. There is no entrenchment clause in the Water Service Entities Act. There is no constitutional crisis at all. Uh, point of order, Chris Bishop. That, that was a very uh, clear and deliberate question, Mr Speaker, which went to the Minister's knowledge about a particular matter. Uh, it was not addressed. I'll ask the member to ask it again. Did she know, prior to the vote on SOP 285 that the Labour Party members would vote in favour of SOP 285. I'll ask the Minister to answer insofar as she has responsibility for that. <laughs> Mr Speaker. The, Mr Speaker. I acted in accordance with decisions made by our caucus in relation to, it, in relation to clause SOP 285. It was acknowledged that a mistake was made. It has been rectified. There is no entrenchment clause in the Water Service Entities Act. There is no constitutional crisis. I suggest, in a charitable spirit, the member moves positively into Christmas and have a bit of a break. 